All right, it's time to register the domain name for our website. Now, in order to register your domain name, what you have to do is you have to buy a domain name or register your domain name with a domain name registrar. There are many different registrars out there. Some of the most famous ones are called GoDaddy, Namecheap or Name.com. However, you might use any other one as well. What these registrars are doing is they are buying the domain name for you and are holding it for you and then allow you to change the settings of the domain name so that the domain name is redirecting users or visitors to the correct page. Now, these days, domain names are not very expensive anymore and there is a big competition out there amongst domain name registrars. I personally like Namecheap.com because Namecheap is probably one of the cheapest out there and they allow you a lot of settings which you can change easily and at no cost. Some domain name providers get you with these additional features and really squeeze you there, make you pay for it. Namecheap, do Namecheap does not do that and they have one additional feature which is the privacy feature which many other registers make you pay for. However, with Namecheap.com it comes free. And that's why I highly recommend Namecheap, but you can use any other register as well. So in order to find a domain name, all we have to do is look for our specific name. Now, most domain names these days you will look for are probably taken, at least the good names. So let me, for example, enter surf trade and search for it. And you will quickly see that surftrade.com has been registered, registered already in 2003. So Namecheap is now offering us a few alternative names. For example, we could go with net with all these different domain name endings. Recently, there has been ex an explosion of different domain name endings. And that really makes it possible again to find domain names which might have been taken on the popular endings like .com or .net, lately .io or .co have been quite popular as well. So there your domain name might already be taken, but you might find it, for example, that XYZ is still free. However, that being said, I highly recommend you to stick to .com domain names. And if your favorite domain name is taken already, try to adjust it slightly and make sure, try to adjust it slightly by adding, for example, a different word to it and seeing, checking if that maybe still is available on .com. And the reason for that is that most users these days are still very familiar with .com and not so familiar with these, all these other new domain name endings. And generally, if users ever decide to enter your address into the browsers, they will most likely use .com as the ending and then might not end up on your website. So I am going to add this little n, so surfandtrade.com and that should still be available. And I am going to register this domain name. So let's add this to the card. I already have a Namecheap account. So let's go to our card and check out and buy this domain name. If you don't have an account yet with Namecheap, you will need to create one. And here, once we check out, we have several options. Now, this who is God or who is God is really important. And that's exactly the privacy friendly feature I was talking early on, which is for free with Namecheap. And what this does is it protects your privacy and it protects your information. Now, when you register a .com name, what you have to do is you have to provide your phone number, your address and your email address. And if you do not protect that information with a guard like this, what happens is that you will most likely get spammed by many companies trying to offer you services like web design or just try to steal your information and sell them on for all kinds of purposes. And let me exactly demonstrate you by what I mean by this. 
I am on a website called who.is, which allows us to look up these informations. And now if I enter the domain name for the New York Times, you can see what kind of information is available here in these who is informations. And if you really want to try to avoid publishing that, and let's take a look at how this would look like if we have a horse guard enabled. And in order to do that, I'm going to enter a domain name of a different website I own, essentialwebguide.com, the website where you will see all these videos also published. And here I have a horse guard and you see this is all privacy friendly redacted. So that's why I recommend you to leave this on. You definitely do not need this premium DNS feature. So let's leave this off and let's confirm our order and pay for it. All right, I just bought this domain name. Let's go now to manage it and set up, make sure that we connect it to Webflow. I'm gonna hit manage. And in manage, in this section, we can manage our domain names. And you can, for example, if you want to prolong your domain name, renew it. Also highly recommended is that you turn on auto renew. So every year you will have to pay for your domain name again, and you don't want to forget to pay for it. Otherwise you will lose your domain name and somebody else might take it. So I recommend you to turn on auto renew. Now what we want to do is we want to connect our domain name to our Webflow hosting. To do that, I'm going to go select advanced DNS. And here we can change some DNS settings. DNS means how we redirect our domain name. And in order to know what we need to enter, let's swap back to Webflow. And I am going to go to hosting. And at the bottom of hosting, I can add custom domain names. So I'm going to select this feature and add the domain name we just bought. And now Webflow tells us exactly what we need to, to do. So you see these different informations, we just need to copy over into our DNS settings. It looks a bit scary. Trust me, it's super easy. So let's copy this address and make sure we delete those two things. We won't need them anymore. And let's add a new record or we can't delete it until we added something new. So all I'm doing is I'm doing add an A record because here it says type A, then name is the add sign and then the value is the IP address. So let's do exactly this and add again an A. And here we have a second A add and a second IP address which I'm going to copy over. And then here, what we need to do is in order to make it www.surftrade.com, we have to also copy over this. So I have a C name, type name www, and then copy this proxy here. And I already have this C name records, www, and I'm going to replace it with this copied value and let's remove this record and that's it. Now we set the records. It might take some time for it to be transmitted because what the web, what Namecheap now does, if we updated our records and Namecheap now publishes them to the internet and to all these other computers keeping track of these name records. However, they sometimes take some a while to update. Let's check if Webflow already recognizes it and it's already working for our first domain name and it's working 
not yet working for www, but that's okay. We can in the meantime pub publish everything to surfandtrade.com and then later on check again if it's working here. All right. In order to publish now to surfandtrade.com, all we have to do is select this domain name and then publish to selected domains. Now, I am not currently publishing to www.surfandtrade.com because it's not working yet. And later on, once this is working, oh, it's working now. Now, all the changes have been transmitted successfully by Namecheap to the internet. And now I'm going to set the surfandtrade.com as the www.surfandtrade.com as our default domain. So if anybody ever hits surfandtrade.com without the www in front, they are going to be redirected to this page www.surfandtrade.com. And you might ask, why do I choose this one as a default and not the other one? I think a lot of users are still familiar with the www. However, it's in the end just a preference and you might as well choose the other domain name. In most web flows, the www. is hidden these days anyways. But if somebody copies the link and then pastes it into another website, it will be included and it just looks a bit more familiar to many users. So let's make sure that we publish this again to www.surfandtrade.com and you will see that the other domain name is now hidden because this is our default website. So let's hit publish to select the domains. And now let's visit our website. And there we go. Our website is live under surfandtrade.com. And everything we created can be found under this address now. We have our first website ready to rock and roll.